In this video, we'll introduce the base model network used in the LV Distribution Network example project. The base model study case is activated. Several network diagrams are already opened. The one that you see here is the 400 volt system overview diagram. The following two tabs are 10 kV and 30 kV overview diagrams. If we double click on one of the substations, we'll see a detailed single line diagram of that substation. This shows the MV part of the network, the MV LV transformer, and the LV part of the network. From the LV site, there are a number of outgoing circuits. You can see how these circuits are represented in the 400 volt diagram by right clicking and selecting the option Mark in Other Graphic. Let's now look at the colouring options that have been selected for the diagram. Under option 3, Topology, Feeders is selected. The concept of a feeder is especially applicable to radial networks and it indicates where consumers are receiving their power supply from. In Power Factory, feeder elements are defined at a line end or transformer and the feeder definition algorithm searches to find all relevant branch elements and loads. Let's look at this feeder as an example. Using this button, we can look at the elements within the feeder. This button allows us to mark them in graphic to see where the feeder is in the network. Let's return to the colouring options. Another useful application of colouring is to check the radiality of the network. First, we'll deselect option 3. Then select option 2, Alarm, and Feeder Radiality Check. With this option selected, any feeders that are not being operated radially will be highlighted in red. None of the feeders is coloured red. This tells us that the network is running radially. Now, we'll close an interconnection and force the network to run in a mesh. We'll look at the detailed single line diagram for this particular substation. We find a circuit breaker for an outgoing feeder that is open and close the circuit breaker. You'll notice that the outgoing line turns red. Returning to the 400 volt diagram, we can also see the line coloured red here. If we double click on the substation at the other end of the meshed feeder, we can open the circuit breaker associated with the feeder. You can see that the feeder is indicated as running radially again.